hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel and here we are covering the graphql apollo graphql with the client and server so in the previous video we talked about how we can create a base schema and other entities how they can extend that so we created a base schema like in the index.js and then we created a user.js and message.js which were which were extending the base schema so in this video we are going to create a resolvers resolvers where we are going to define the queries define the implementation of queries and implementation of mutations and subscription so here we already have a folder resolver so in the resolver what we are going to place is uh, the basic things okay so let's do index.js okay in the resolver what we are going to define is our two sub resolvers so we are going to have a like uh, we have a schema so we had a message schema and user schema similarly we are going to have a resolver for the message a resolver for the user because user has the queries defined and mutation defined message has the query defined and uh, mutation defined so we are going to define the resolver for it here so the resolver contains the basic things like uh, first of all what we are going to export from here export default we are going to return an array which contains all the resolvers we have so let's import user resolver from user which we are going to create and this we are going to get from message okay so we will be exporting all these resolvers and uh, the custom scalar resolver this is the base scalar resolver we are going to create <clears throat> i'll just get it now we'll just import all of these together custom resolver and user resolver and message resolver now actual implementation we will do when we talk about what all queries are going to return so we will be talking to mongodb in this particular case for date and time we have to import it from graphql iso date because we are getting graphql date stem i think graphql date and time this is all now we can create uh, our user.js and uh, message.js so we'll just create a skeleton before that we can also think about uh, how we are going to connect to the mongodb so we can have a model defined here inside model what we can do is we will be establish a connection to the mongodb so it can be as simple as like mongoose.connect pass the url okay and we just define the other entities also like in this we have user.js user.js message.js and we also have index.js where we will be defining the connection details and all so it can be simple as const connect mongo and in this function what we are doing is if i mean you can just do a mongoose.connect connect mongo actually connect only so we are getting mongoose from there and then we have mongoose.connect okay we just need a mongoose it has this connect method and you just need to pass the db url so that you will be getting from process.env dot mongo url okay so if you are able to connect this is what we are going to return from this this particular function mongo dot uh, connect and uh, you can also pass the other argument which is not required user new url parser it can be true 
okay this is a db connection so i mean de depends on the database environment like you are accessing the dev on test you can be exporting and from here we will be exporting all the modules okay so what all modules we have is const models we got user and object which we have to import here so we are going to you create a mongo schema for two different entities another is message okay now we will be exporting this all these things three things which is about default export and named vex export we will be exporting these user and message models connect db function which will be just returning the connection if connection dot on is successful i mean you can write a different ways of how to connect to the mongo db database it's a simple one you just do a connect and return that and if the promise is resolved means you are connected otherwise the connection has been rejected export default modules models we are exporting from this and how we can use it in the server.js is you can just import the database so what what, what all things we can import is so where are we importing it from the src model sign index you don't need to specify index and here we can just connect a db and connect db is a named export other than that src models that's it so whatever you are exporting from here we can get we don't need these models here we just need a connect db function now what we can just do is we can just check okay connect db dot on or something connect db is a function so should have a dot then function so using dot then function we can just check if uh, we are able to successfully connect it or not let me just check uh, index and we are doing we are exporting the connect db okay sorry it is connect mongo function and in our index.js we will be importing the same connect mongo okay dot then here you can say it is returning a promise if all good means we are able to connect to the mongodb database then we can think of starting the server otherwise you can just do a catch block here and you can just write okay we are not able to connect to mongodb just do whatever you want before that if you wanted to seed the data clean the existing collections you can do it so that is simple models dot uh, model name dot you can say drop and all these things you can do so that we will we will figure it out but here we created all the mod models now we just need to populate okay what user module model will have what uh, message model is going to have both we are exporting from here and we will be just having one env dot example somewhere first of all dot env file where we will be putting this mongodb url okay and we will be using dot env module in the server.js so that we will be able to import the definitions so that is what we have so in this index.js we have we can just import the dot env definition so it will look for dot env file in the root and here we can provide that mongodb url in the dot env so you can provide uh, the url here what else we can have env development other things we can get is port something like this okay so this is how we have the env file and from the env file we are reading all the information
okay let's connect in the next video where we will extend these model definitions and we will write resolvers